This is my dog. His name is Iggy. And that's my girlfriend. Her name is Lauren. So this used to be where I live. And it has since become like um, my studio. I better close my closet door so no one can see my closet. So this is where I paint. This is where painting happens. This is where you can splash shit. Shit can be splashed all over this place. Um, and it's cool, but not in this room. This is the dry room. Wet room, dry room. This is where, you know, I read, read some books, um, email my friends or other people, and also where I cook my lunches and where I draw. And did I already say read? But this is like more of a creative side, you know? I just come up with the ideas here, sketch them all out, and then take them into that room and make, make it happen. These are some drawings I'm doing using like fluorescent paint and and website girls, girls on soft porn websites. And I change it up like this. This is was a girl and the pose was a you know kind of a feminine pose, but I made it into a guy with chest hair and hairy armpits. So, you know, they change up a lot. But that's where you get the or here, here, this is a bit more a bit more pornographic. Slightly more pornographic. Or you could see sometimes I put wieners on dudes. So this this was a girl, but I just decided to the pose was a feminine pose, but I gave her gave her a wiener. So you know things get rearranged. He actually is pretty rad. I have a skateboard with giant, huge wheels, really soft wheels, and I got a harness for him, and he drags me places. It's so awesome. I think I've actually seen you do that Shut in the neighborhood. Really? Yeah, because I live down the road. Oh, no way. Yeah, he, he'll take me like 30 miles an hour down the street. Especially if he sees cats. Holy shit. I can't even hold on. It's so gnarly. But yeah, these are a couple paintings from my last show. A couple, two remaining paintings from the show. Um, it was up in LA at a place called New Image Art. And this, this, for this whole series, I was going for like super hyper detail. So you have all these little skeletons and these little narratives. Like I was listening to the Beatles a lot when I was when I was doing this, so this is the walrus right here, and that says cuckoo choo and you have a little skeleton here, and so yeah. Yeah, so that's what's going on there, but this time, from the next show, I'm going to start doing like appropriated imagery. So this is an image of, it looks like a tiger, but it's actually a, uh, I think it was a bobcat, it was um, an Audubon sketch. And I put, instead of it being made up of, of the actual tiger, I had it made up of this William Blake poem called Tiger, Tiger. And so the whole tiger is made up of words that are in William Blake's poem. And it's in a neon forest. And this one I have going over here is from this, and this, this um, painting by David. Uh, and it's of Napoleon, Napoleon crossing the, uh, the Alps. And I just sort of add my own twist to the whole thing. Kind of more of a, uh, a colorful, I don't know what. It'd be interesting to see what the other artists thought of this. I think he's long dead by a couple hundred years, but um, yeah, that's what's going on.